Hey YouTube, we're going to be doing uppercuts in this video. Uh, this is set to four. Uh, uppercut, it's more upward motion. Kind of like you're shoveling. But you don't swing your arm all the way back. What you do, um, you have one hand up, one hand down. You cock it back halfway down to your solar plexus area and then what you do you shoot it up through the center and hit them right in the solar plexus or you can hit them right in the chin and knock them out if they had their chin up if they don't have them tucked down like how a boxer would usually most bosses will have their chin tucked that's the reason why most bosses will stay Coaches online, they'll say have your chin tucked. That's the most important thing to have in a fight. But when you're a karate cup fighter, most karate cup fighters they have their heads up. That way they can, you know, maneuver around a lot better. You know, plus throw punches when they need better and stuff like that. But I'm a trained boxer, so I know what to do in boxing. So you have your hand up, hand down, legs bent. And your chin tucks when you throw an uppercut, have it caught down, ready to go, halfway down to your stomach. Bam! Hit him in the surplex. Same thing, you switch to the other side, do it forward. Bam! That's a lead uppercut. Lead uppercut to a rear uppercut. Two different things. The rear is far back. The lead is forward. So when you're doing the lead, it's closest to your opponent. When you're doing the rear, it's to, to the, uh, the back side of you, the far side of you. So you have more of a longer reach to reach your opponent. But make sure when you're doing it, you want to have your hands up, protecting yourself at all times. So rear in the front, rear uppercut. Again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we're going to be throwing a hook. It's kind of like when you're throwing a hook, it's kind of like making a C, the letter C, with your arm. When you throw a hook, how I do it, everybody's different on throwing hooks. Sometimes they like to throw like a wild haymaker. That ain't, that ain't the right way of throwing a hook. Cause, you know, that ain't the right way. That's a sloppy way. That's a good way of making your opponent see it coming a mile away. And they can lean back, dodge it, bam. Strike you back. Or they can weave, strike, strike. And then they can do an uppercut, knee, headbutt, whatever they can on it. But, um. The hook is more like a C, made in a C. You want to kind of have it, the way I throw hooks, I can either throw it like this, vertical fist straight up, throw it like this, or if you want, you can throw it like this too. You get your fist more, more connected. Again, vertical, horizontal. So, if you're doing 
Vertical is strong like this. Use your hip and your whole body into it. You don't use your shoulder. That's one most people make mistakes on when they're on the hook. They think, oh, they gotta use their shoulder into it. Just their shoulder and their arm. No, you use your whole body. You strike with your whole body. Same with kicking. You know, you use your hips into the kicking. Same with the punching. So, I'm gonna do the vertical 10 times. I want to do the horizontal 10 times. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing with the horizontal fist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you have the uppercut, rear uppercut, rear uppercut. Front up cut, rear up cut. Vertical hook punch. Horizontal hook punch. And then, same thing. Boom, 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 boom. On the other side. So, and then there's a Shovel hook punch, and more, and more up to the side. But I'll go into that one in another video. Uh, that's more of like a chicken and dumb move right there. The shovel, the shovel hook, because it's more of a, it's more of a liver shot more than anything. Um, a friend of mine described that to me. He said it was more chicken and dumb strike. Um, in boxing, it's more of a dirty strike in boxing. The shovel hook is, and it's more effective because they're doing a liver shot more than anything on your opponent. And but other than that, uh, those are some basic techniques you can do. Um, just in boxing, um, I'm just teaching the basics. You know, I want to teach you um, from, and then. We're going to be doing the jab. The jab is just shooting it out. We're going to do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sign, stand. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Usually, most people like to do the jab. Boom! A lot of power. Um, the jab ain't meant to be to have a whole lot of power. Some situations it can, can be, but more more likely the jab is more like a setup. You don't really have to have a whole lot of power on it. Other than your rear hand shot when doing boxing or any type of fighting art, they always start out with a jab or they'll do a jet front kick, boom, boom, and then they'll probably do like a rear hand strike cross. So basically, it'd be more like 
just it's just like a setup, and it, you, you don't even have to do it hard when doing uh, the jab. It ain't a power shot, even though in some cases it can be, but. Um, you can mix it up, you know, into combinations and stuff like that, but it's more of like a, it's more of a setup than an actual strike. So, there you have it, three basic combinations you can do. Sorry, I ramble on a little too long, too long than what I normally do in the video. I made three videos already. I hope you all like, uh, hit the like, subscribe. And like I said, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, I hope you all enjoy these videos. And train hard, train smart, do your research. God bless. And got your blessings every day, no matter what. Um, so like I said, I do have a black belt certificate. Um, I am certified to teach uh, martial arts. But if you want to contact me, just contact me on Instagram, second.4. Uh, there you have it. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.